there was ever a season to embrace effortlessly chic and classy summer dresses, it would definitely be now. And after 2020, I'm planning on wearing as many as I possibly can this year. Lucky for us, there are so many beautiful versions about right now, so we're spoiled for choice. In this lookbook, I'll be sharing my 11 favorite summer dresses for 2021. From dinner dates to everyday chic, dresses you could wear to the office, and for lazy summer afternoons, I have a little something for all occasions and budgets. If you're new here, hello, I really hope you enjoy this lookbook. And if you're a regular, thank you so much as always for all your support. As you know, I love chit-chatting with you all in the comments section below, so don't forget to let me know your favorite summer dress that I featured today. And my links to all my other social channels along with all the dresses I feature are in the description box below. Right, let's get started with summer dress number one. First up in this spring summer lookbook to a sustainable brand called Mara Hoffman. Now it's been made from this beautiful but quite unusual crinkled organic cotton. That texture gives the dress more weight and depth and makes it feel a little bit extra special. Now in terms of its design, it's a traditional classy wrap style dress with a twist. Firstly, you can tick the Statement Sleeves Fashion Trend box with these amazing puff sleeves. I like the length of them too, falling just below my elbow, which I find really flattering. Now you've got a self-tie around the waist, and I like how they've left that sash pretty wide, so it really defines your waist. Lengthwise, I'd say it's perfect too. It's not short short, but it's a lovely length I know I personally will feel comfortable in the daytime as well as at night. Not only do I love her effortlessly chic take on summer dresses, but her commitment to sustainable fabrics, the cut, and ethical practices all makes me love the label even more. I think this dress is a great investment for my own wardrobe, and I'm actually really looking forward to styling it in lots of different ways this spring summer. Now I've had my eye on this blue midi dress from And Other Stories for quite a while now, but it's been selling so fast I kept missing out every time their stock was replenished. Finally though, I got lucky and managed to add one to cart so I could share it in this lookbook. Now this one has been made from 100% viscose. It's got that sweetheart neckline, which I love. I think it's really flattering. And a little smocking at the back, which really helps to create a lovely shape across your chest. Little puff sleeves again, which unintentionally seems to be a bit of a theme in today's video, but I personally just love that look. So I bought this one and I also bought a very similar style at Marks & Spencer. They've bought out a collaboration range with iconic British label Ghost. Sadly, that one hasn't arrived yet, so I can't show it you just yet. But as soon as it does, I will show you all, of course, and then you can see which is your favorite between the And Other Stories one and the Marks & Spencer's Ghost. So as you can see, I'm sharing two different ways I would style it in this lookbook. Both of which I'm imagining I'd wear a lot and hopefully sharing just how versatile a dress like this could be. I love this dress. I think the fit is classy and elegant. The print is subtle and minimal. The color is perfect for this season and I feel elevated and a little bit sexy, but in a very understated kind of fashion. Just my cup of tea. I couldn't do an effortlessly chic lookbook and not include one of my favorite Parisian style brands, Cezanne. If for some reason you're not familiar with the brand, I've linked a selection of videos I've done on them in the description box below for you to watch at the end of this video, as I'm a bit of a fan. So I think it's safe to say when it comes to summer dresses, I know I'm gonna find a whole collection I love on their website. So I've selected two from their spring summer collection, both of which I think are really timeless designs that I know I will have in my wardrobe for years to come. So this is the first dress I went for. I'd been looking for a linen dress for a while and knowing the brand well, I knew their quality would be spot on. I love the puff shoulders with these delicate frill details across the hem, the addition of the matching belt and these buttons going all the way down the front. It's feminine and elegant, and in that typical Cezanne fashion, their dresses are always the epitome of effortless chic for me. Now, as you'll have seen in this footage, I'm sharing two different ways I'd style this dress. Dressed down with tan details, and a little more dressed up with black kitten heels. And in terms of fashion trends, we've seen a lot of this kind of linen dress about for this spring summer in black, lots of beige and whites. I personally think the style will become a new classic.
The second Suzanne dress I've bought recently is this one I'm wearing. In contrast to the black dress, this one's been made from a blend of organic cotton and linen, so it definitely feels different. They're both equally beautiful in their own right, so I guess it's just personal taste on the shape. This one has this beautiful embroidery detail over the entire dress, which I'm a big fan of. I just find it such a pretty and feminine look in summer, and it adds more interest, but in a really effortless and elegant way. Now, the bottom half of this dress is lined, but the top half isn't. But hopefully you'll be able to see in this footage, it's not see-through on the top section at all. I'm just wearing a flesh-coloured bra underneath that, and I think it works fine. So another beautiful Suzanne dress to add to my collection. But I would say both the dresses I chose from there are very timeless, so I can imagine that I'm going to be wearing them in five years' time, and they won't look dated. Now over to the Conscious Collection of Mango and I found one beautiful polka dot dress. Not only do I think this is effortlessly chic and classy, but it's so pretty and feminine, I just had to add it to basket. First of all, it's been made from my favourite sustainable fabric, Lyocell. It has that raw silk feel to it and it just moves beautifully. The fabric is very fine and lightweight, but you have an attached slip underneath so it's not see-through. I actually can't decide if my favourite detail is this one shoulder frill or the fact that the polka dots have been done in my favourite camel. I'm kind of spoilt for choice with this one. Now the design with these asymmetrical seams, puff sleeves, gathers, maxi length and cinched in waist are all really on trend but this doesn't feel like a one season wonder either. It still feels timeless, classy and chic so I've whipped the label off this one already. I've got two Reformation dresses to share with you in this video, one of which I think works really well, the other one sadly not as good. So let's start with a dress I actually bought last summer, but as it's one of their classic bestsellers, it's now available in no less than four different colours. Something about this dress that I just keep coming back to time and time again, I absolutely love it. For a start, the fabric they've used is far heavier and in a nice way than the usual jersey you might see. You can feel that they've really thought about this a lot and worked out the best, most sustainable and flattering fabric to use. I went for the small and it fits like a glove. It never loses its shape and it looks as nice today as the day I bought it. I'd actually quite like to go for it in the blush next or possibly the emerald as I love that shade. So after having such success with last summer's dress from Reformation, I thought I'd try out another style of theirs called the Abbott dress. Sadly, I don't think this one is for me, but I also messed up on the sizing, which isn't helping matters. I went for a USA 4, which as you can see is too big across the bust. I would definitely need to size down. I've actually left that undone as it looks even worse done up, to be honest. I do really like the simplicity of this dress and I like the print and I like the fact it's red, I do like red in summer, but sizing aside, I don't think this style is for me. But don't let my mess up with the sizing put you off the brand as a whole because I actually really like their collection. They're very sustainable as a brand and when you look at their collection online, there are some really beautiful dresses, tops and blouses I would be more than happy to add into my own capsule wardrobe. Over to ASOS now and I found two dresses I really liked from their own responsible range. So this first one has been made from a blend of linen in this really lovely shade of light khaki or I guess you could call it soft mint. I'm seeing a lot of 90s minimal slip dresses around for spring summer in every possible fabric combination you can imagine. So there's really something for everyone's budget. The nice point of difference with this one is that it's been made from a linen blend, which I haven't seen before. I really love the subtle sorbet tone of khaki they've used, and the icing on the cake is it's retailing at just £22. The other dress I found at ASOS which I thought was really chic is this one made from 100% cotton. It actually has a similar vibe to the black Suzanne dress, and though obviously it's not the same quality, I thought for under £30 it was a great option for summer. I love that back detail, I think that's really pretty, something a little bit different and I feel like it gives you an extra bit of support across the chest and then of course I'm a big fan of those staggered frilled seams. Though I do really like that style of dress and they're very on trend for this spring summer, 
they can sometimes make your tummy look a little bit bigger than it actually is. So I decided to have a go adding a belt to this dress just to cinch it in a bit more at the waist to give it a bit more shape. And I actually think it works much nicer like that. So a great option all round that I really like for this summer dresses lookbook. On the flip side to that last dress, I have another version of the 90s slip dress by my beautiful friend's label by committee. If this is within budget, I think it's a stunning option to tick the 90s minimal slip dress fashion trend. It's been made from a blend of silk and satin, which I know she painstakingly searched worldwide to find exactly the right fabric quality. Heavy enough not to be see-through, but not so heavy that you'd lose that lovely drape. As you would imagine, the quality is beautiful and that fabric feels incredible against my skin. I've styled it today a little more dressed up, adding my neutral kitten heels and a lovely chain bag from a brand called Paris 64. And if we're looking for pieces that are effortlessly chic, I think this by committee one absolutely ticks that box. Next to the independent British brand Tallulah and Hope, known for their intricate embroidery detailing on beautiful elegant dresses. Though I'm not usually fond of print, this is one brand that always seems to entice me. I love this kimono style Gloria dress, for example, with this great pink bird print. In the end, I decided on the Colette with this stunning Lovebirds embroidery. I really like the handkerchief sleeve and slightly bohemian spirit it gives off. I would probably always style it in this way, dressed down with sandals and a bucket or straw bag, and all that's left to add would be the sunshine. Next to a dress from an independent label based in Copenhagen, they're called Project AJ117. They always create something a little bit different that stands out for me. I thought this would be that perfect, lazy summer day dress that I know I'd reach for often, both for at home when it's warm, but actually a great dress for holidays too, or as a throw on at the beach. It's a traditional classy shirt dress, but with an elevated bohemian spirit that I seem to warm to. And of course, in that tone, you know I couldn't resist, with tan or gold sandals for a really effortlessly chic look this summer. I'd love to hear your favorite summer dresses I've featured today in the comments section below. If you had to choose between the two Suzanne dresses, which one would you go for? Don't forget, if you like this video and you're not already subscribed, it'd be really lovely if you'd like to do so. Have a wonderful week, everyone. I shall be back next Sunday with lots more outfit ideas and inspiration. So hopefully you will join me then. Take care.